LTT Computex 2016 coverage is brought to you by the Corsair Lap Dog. It lets you use a full-size mouse and mechanical keyboard on the couch. Also, thank you to MSI. So first off, at the Gigabyte Suite, I'm going to be checking out the Aorus X7 DT. This laptop will be looked into in much more detail by Linus in a little while, so I'm not going to cover it in its entirety, but I do want to cover some major changes that were asked for by Linus and a few other people in the past. One, the keyboard is no longer just orange backlighting. It is RGB backlighting. And and it has a wicked amount of different modes in the software. Don't pay too much attention into the individual tones of the colors, however, because they are still mm, tweaking that. The touchpad has also changed. It is still glass, but it appears and feels quite a bit different. The logo is still going to be on it. I know it isn't on it here, but it's still going under some changes. It'll be fine. But it is much more uh, matte textured and not as slippery, which I think people will like. The screen has also changed. The bezel, instead of coming to like a single fang, now has two, one on each side of the center point. And the screen itself has changed a little bit. It's still G-Sync, but instead of being 4K, it's now 1080p, 120 hertz with five milliseconds of delay. So if you're going for something like the shooter games on your laptop, that would be quite ideal. For the rest of the details on the X7 DT, tune into Linus's video, which will be back in the office and more in depth later on. For now, let's check out the Aero 14. The Aero 14 is equipped with the 970 or 965M NVIDIA GPU, and on the processor side, you have a sixth generation i7. The one right here is a 6700HQ, so you can go pretty high end there as well. In terms of memory, you've got eight gigs or 16 gigs, but it is expandable. There's two slots, and you can go up to 32 gigs. The screen is a beautiful 2560 by 1440p IPS panel, and you have two M.2 slots that can go all the way up to NVMe. It has up to 10 hours of battery life in productivity mode, and even then only weighs 1.89 kilograms with the battery installed. For wireless connectivity, you have wireless AC and Bluetooth 4.1 LE. For connectivity on the right-hand side, you have USB 3.1 Type-C connector, a mini display port connector, two USB 3.0 connectors, and AC power in. On the left-hand side, you have an HDMI 2.0 port, a USB 3.0 port, a headphone slash microphone port, an SD card slot, and the Kensington lock. Yes, as you may have noticed, there is no Ethernet port, but that is actually fairly standard these days. And it's optional, but I think it's going to come with most of them. There's going to be a USB to Ethernet adapter. And then, as you can very obviously see beside me on the table that I'm crouching next to, it comes in orange, black, and green. Thanks again to Corsair for sponsoring this episode. If you like gaming on the couch, check out their lap dog. It lets you use something like a full-size keyboard like their K70 or a full-size mouse to game on the couch. Also, thanks to MSI. They're showing off their new Aegis X desktop and their new GTX 1080 Gaming X8G. We'll be checking those out later on in the show, so stay tuned for that. And stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips for all the rest of our Computex coverage.